All right, so this video is gonna be a little different than the ones I normally make. The shopping season is almost here. You know, we got Black Friday coming up, Cyber Monday, and then the holidays. So as a disclaimer, everything I'm about to say are my opinions. You know, you, you can take it however you want, but these are just my thoughts and uh, based off my experiences with air fryers. So I'm going to cover about five different areas that you should consider before you purchase an air fryer either for yourself or for someone else as a gift. So it seems like the air fryer market is very saturated now. There's a lot of maybe small resellers that are getting into the business and you'll see a lot of similarities across different air fryers. So even though you may see different names, um, some familiar, some maybe uh, new to you, there's probably a very good chance that these air fryers are made in the same warehouse. So the first thing I would say is don't purchase an air fryer that's over $150 unless you know exactly why you're going to pay that extra money for it. I believe a lot of these air fryers are overpriced right now just because there's a, a little bit of hype, I guess, out there. Uh, I, I would estimate most of these air fryers may be 25 to 50% more than what they actually should be. I mean, it, it is supply and demand, so as long as people are willing to pay the price for this, it's probably not going to change much. So the next thing I would suggest to look at is the like construction or build quality. A lot of these air fryers are plastic, either almost entirely plastic or have some plastic. I highly suggest to try to get an air fryer that has little to no plastic as possible. I had a very bad experience with the power air fryer oven. The inside of the oven compartment is all plastic and every time you cook something, it would really stink and it wasn't this, it wasn't an oily film that you may hear some people say you just need to clean it. It was the plastic itself and then the, the smell also like got into the food and you can taste it and it was really offsetting. Uh, there was a couple times I felt a little kind of nauseous or queasy and I didn't know what it was until finally I, I figured out it was the air fryer just making the food taste really disgusting. Another thing that I've seen is be very weary or cautious of some air fryers where the heating element is at the bottom. Uh, in some cases, and I've seen some um, people complain about it, is you know there may be drippings that would touch that heating element and it could catch on fire. So I would say it's safe to probably just stay away from those um, or at least just be aware with what you may encounter with those. So another thing to take into account is the support or warranty. So remember that these air fryers are cheap. It, will probably cost the company too much to you know, store parts, have a technician to be able to try to repair something if something went wrong. It is far cheaper for them to replace the entire unit. So most of the air fryers that I've seen come with anywhere from like a 90 day warranty. Uh, I, I think most of them now have a one year warranty and then if you register it, you can get up to three years. But make sure you read the fine print of that warranty. Although that may sound good, they're most likely not going to cover the shipping cost. In fact, I haven't seen one company that will cover the shipping cost. And of course, the shipping cost is going to be different for everyone depending on where you live. But these air fryers are not that small. They come in a fairly large box. I would say just estimate at least $50 for shipping. And just to clarify, usually they don't cover the shipping cost for you to return the item, um, but they do cover the cost of sending the new replacement item to you. All right, so I pulled up the Instapot uh, little air fryer cooker attachment thing. Uh, you can see it's Amazon's choice. You know, Instapot is a very popular brand, but uh, even then, you know, the warranty information, you gotta uh, look at it in detail. Okay, so I pulled up the uh, warranty, which is in the user manual. There's a couple things to note. The warranty starts at the time of purchase. So if you're purchasing this as a gift, let's say, you know, on Black Friday, um, to be a gift over the holidays, you know, that's one month gone already. 
So it doesn't look like you need to be the original purchaser of the appliance to use the warranty, but you're going to need to get the proof of purchase information. So another thing to know about this is you have to register the appliance to validate the warning within 30 days of purchase. So again, going back to the purchasing on Black Friday, you know, getting this as a Christmas gift, that's, that's pretty much the 30 days right there. Instant Brands is not responsible for shipping costs related to warranty service. Save except for shipping costs associated with the return of the appliance from Canada or within the 48 contiguous states. So they do have a 1-800 phone number and an email, so that's good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to ask them about this 30-day purchase uh, as a gift over the holidays to this email address and see how long it takes for them to respond. I'm just going to type this up in Word first. Um, to it uh, how should I frame this? Are there any special considerations to allow more time to register points when purchased as a gift? So I sent that email on a Sunday and then the following day on a Monday, I actually got a response. So I was a, a bit surprised. So it isn't as definite, you know, they're saying typically the customer service will allow the individuals to receive it as a gift to use the warranty, but typically is not concrete. And you know, if there's, if you start having any issues, they can always fall back onto their warranty policy. And then one final thing I want to point out is the actual size of the air fryers. So if you get um, anything less than a 12.7 quart, that seems to be kind of a popular size. Don't expect to put uh, like a whole rotisserie chicken in there that's larger than five pounds. And I don't, I don't know about your area, in my area, it's nearly impossible to find a whole chicken smaller than five pounds. Okay, I'm gonna give my thoughts on some of these air fryers. Just gonna pick a couple of random. Just looking at this first one, seeing as 15 quarts is fairly large, so I'm gonna be able to do maybe a five to maybe six pound uh, rotisserie chicken in here. I don't know this uh, brand, so I'm gonna assume it falls in that same category of the warranty and support that I mentioned. Uh, it does look fairly nice. I'm um, not sure what the inside is made out of. I would just check to see how much metal is uh, or non-plastic is made out of this. It's, it's fairly on the higher end price, so uh, I would actually probably not pick this um, as my first choice. So going down, 8-quart is really small. Uh, the price for an 8-quart seems a little too high, so I would just kind of skip that. 7.2 quart in 77 bucks. It seems a little bit on the higher side, but that, that might be average than what you see right now. Um, if I wanted a small, tiny little air fryer, maybe I would um, consider that. And then, uh, wait, do you, do you guys see what I see? So this is a 100% must buy air fryer. So this one looks like the power air fryer oven. These look like your standard, you know, cheap, small plastic air fryers. Here's the Instapot. You know, I think it's a, a little bit high on the price, but you're probably paying a little bit more for the name, the brand. Uh, this one seems a little bit high on the price. Uh, never heard of Kusori, but this one seems reasonably priced. Uh, oh, really, really small. I'm um, just going down again. 14 quart, 159. I'd skip that just be again because of the price. It's going down. So this one is right at the top of my price range, but looking at it, it's you know 17 quart. It's fairly large. And it comes with a lot of accessories. So that one I actually might consider, you know, going back to say what I said was, um, you know, if you're going to spend more than 150, make sure you know why you're spending more than 150. And I just keep going down um, 5.8 quart for 80 bucks, a uh, little, little on the pricey side, but oh, save 20 bucks. So that actually might be not bad. It'll come down to $59. Uh, that's not bad, you know, a small air fryer might be good for a gift. 
Um, hundred dollars for five point eight, yeah, a little bit. I think on the higher side. Again, these are all plastic, so I would just naturally try to stay away from them. Um, there's the minion one again. Uh, the ninja ones have actually looked fairly good, uh, and I have actually bought this for a gift once. So that. Um, because they're multi-purpose, you know, they're pressure cookers and air fryers. So that one actually seems fairly reasonable. It, it is small. Um, 6.5 quart for 79. Uh, seems a little, little high to me. Um, Photoshop chicken in the air fryer. 20 quart though. Wow, that's fairly large. So yeah, that, that's going to be a huge on your countertop system. So pl I see plastic, 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 metal. So I really like the metal or metal with glass ones. Uh, a little bit high on the price side, but 18 liters. What is that in quarts? I can't do the math in my head. I have to look it up. But if it's at least 15 quarts, then that price, I would say, is, is reasonable. Uh, I'm seeing plastic, plastic. Uh, whoa, whoa, 26 quarts. 500 degrees hold on a minute this actually might be something that i'm looking for because i wanted a slightly larger air fryer with the front glass door that i can open just because it makes it easier to open or uh, to create um, videos let's see i see three different trays oh, is that a heating element at the bottom Standard accessories. So how much is this? One ninety nine. Hmm. I definitely don't think it's worth this much. But the one ninety nine, because it is so large, actually does seem like it might might be okay. I actually. I'm gonna save this to my list. So going back down, again, I still see plastic, 5.8 quarts, that's too high for 5.8 quarts. 5.5, that's way too high for 5.5. Um, and then this double air fryer, the concept seems pretty good, but in reality, this, isn't, this is, just isn't gonna work. You need room around whatever you're cooking. Uh, so what's going to happen here is the top is going to overcook and the bottom's not going to cook at all. Maybe, I don't know. I have to do a lot of research on it. All right, so I hope this video helps somebody else. If you have anything you'd like to add, you know, feel free to add it in the comments below. And I'll catch you on the next video.